Hello and welcome back to Gilbert's Repairs. This is part three of a series on how to service your Ford KA. We're going to tackle the fuel filter today. Very basic task, but an essential one for efficient running of your vehicle. If you like what you've seen today and you find it helpful and it gives you the confidence to carry the job yourself, could you like, subscribe and share? Right, let's get on with it. Today we're going to change the fuel filter on the Ford. So here we are for the next job on the service, which is the fuel filter. And there he is. He's an inline filter and he's at the front of the fuel tank, forward of the fuel tank. So it looks like we've got an in and an out or an out and an in, whichever way, and uh, a Jubilee clip. So I'll put you on a on the tripod and then we'll get on with it so what you've got is the pipe there and there's that little there's that little tab there there's another one on the other side you press those two tabs together so you I think you press the tabs then push the pipe in push the pipe in press the tabs and then it releases it So we'll give that a go. So we grab the tabs, the top and the bottom, push them together, and then he slides out. I don't know if you can see that with my, with my hands in the way. There, and he releases. So there's a bit of fuel coming out. I don't know if my hand was in the way there, but you do that. Same on the other side. There they are. So that's just coming out of the filter. Don't worry about that. It'll evaporate off anyway, so not a problem. If you're doing this on a tarmac drive outside your house, if it's tarmac, this fuel will eat the tarmac away. So get a catch can underneath. So we'll wait for that top half of the filter to drain away. And then we'll undo the Jubilee clip and slide them out. Right, I've emptied me uh, I've emptied my washing bowl of fuel out that caught it, so that's out of the way now. So I'm in a nice, dry, fume free environment. So it's just a 7 mil on there, onto the Jubilee. Wind the filter free. I'll get my can again, <laughs> get me tub. There we go. Just get him free. Right, that can go in me uh, in my container. Right, so here's two filters. Um, this old one, we've had this car three or four years now. This is the first time we replaced it. It's not been replaced by us prior to this, and he does look a bit <laughs> a bit worse for wear. So we've got our new one. We compare the two, they're the same size diameter pipes. And all you need to know is on your new filter, it's going to have a direction hour, um, direction hour, a direction arrow, this flow. So the flow on here is in and out there. So our fuel's got to be running that way. And on this particular car, it is, it comes out of the fuel, the pump there from the tank, comes in, and then this one goes down the length of the car to the engine. So this is in, this is out. So in that case, we've got in there, so he comes in there, 
and he goes out there. So that's the flow direction on the Ford KA. So we get in there, up where we want him. Purse fit, they just slide on the connections. There we go, so they're just push on fittings. And there we go, so he's, he's gripped there tight. So basically there's no real tools required for this job other than the, other than for the Jubilee clip, which is either you can use a seven mil, a seven mil socket like I am, or you can use a flat bladed screwdriver. It's up to you, it's whatever you've got available to you. So here we go, do that up. No, we won't, no, we we'll do it up. <laughs> Don't overdo this, because you'll crush the can. Just nip it up, it's nice and firm. Double check the connections. They are nice and tight. And that is it for your fuel filter, quite a basic task, but worth doing. Right, so we're in the car now. Um, just gonna start the car after replacing the fuel filter. And what I would recommend you do, turn the ignition on, let the fuel pump prime. Do them a good three times. If it's quiet enough, you'll hear the fuel pump. Well, I think that was six times, not three. So we'll give him a try, see wherever he starts up. So there he is, he's running. If he hiccups, if he stutters and stammers, then that's because there's not enough fuel in that filter. And then we'll just prime it, prime it again. So as long as we got a nice steady idle, got a nice smooth idle here, so. And there's his mileage that he's had all this service work done. 71877. So that's had that's had the oil, the filter, spark plugs, air filter, and the fuel filter. All at that same mileage. So he should be good to go for another 12 months. So the car is running. We're doing the fuel filter. Under there. There he is. and he's dry, he's dry on all the connections. It's important that you do this because if you've got a weep of fuel, it's explosive. So make sure it's dry whilst running. So uh, we're all good. I think you'll agree, there's a very basic task to change a fuel filter on your car. Just make sure you've got your washing up bowl or your catch can below to catch the fuel. Um, if you found it useful today, what you've seen, and it gives you the confidence to carry out the task yourself, could you like, subscribe and share, and I'll get you next time.